Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter for Sorgatron.com, SideClick Media Services.com, and SorgatronMedia.com. If you have any help, need any help, anything for video, social media, we're doing a lot of fun stuff there. Please go check it out, sign up for the newsletter, and get fun tips like this over at Sorgatron.com. So, uh, we're going to try uh, a little bit of a new series we're trying to do here uh, that's a bit of a how to. And I know we've talked about Tweet Jukebox. Uh, over the last uh, several months since PodCamp Pittsburgh, when I was exposed to it uh, after a session uh, that, that was done on it there. If you want to see that original one, go to podcamppittsburgh.com, click the schedule, and you can find the Tweet Jukebox uh, video from that. So I actually want to get into a little bit of, uh, you know, actually, how do you do it? I've talked about the ideas, the philosophies, but how do I get into uh, tweet jukebox so what is the deal and plus they just did uh, they just moved to doing a, a pay version of the service and and what does that mean what are you what can you and not do and not do in comparison now so let's take a little look and see what we can get to here within 10 minutes and also we're, we're actually in, in, embarking on a little bit of a non-profit uh, video uh, kind of uh, project here that this is actually going to come out really handy for because we really want to do a, a good spread. Again, tweet jukebox, you're able to set up these little bins of tweets that randomize, you know, promotional content, tweets that you want to get out there, um, or quotes. They have jukeboxes set up. There are quotes for you to put out anytime. And then you can uh, just kind of not worry about meticulously scheduling things if you just want that stuff out there. So it's really good to. Uh, kind of break that up a little bit and kind of take a little bit of pressure off of you if you're just a lowly social media person trying to reach out a bit more. And, and let's get into like what the process is and hopefully that helps you kind of wrap your head around it. So here's Tweet Jukebox. It's at tweetjukebox.com. You'll get this little page here. There's a little bit of a video about what is a Tweet Jukebox. I don't think I've ever watched the video. You can if you want. Uh, you can sign up here, sign in with Twitter. Uh, I'll go into this login. I think either way, it's going to push you the same way. Uh, it's going to actually go through the Twitter interface here, right? Uh, the, the authenticator that you've seen so many times. So I'm going to go ahead and log in here with our Sorgatron Media account. So this is what I use for the company account. And we sign in. And that's it. Now, it's going to take you through uh, probably an extra step or two when you first get in here uh, with your new account. Uh, but generally, this is what you're going to see. Uh, you see we have uh, some, some you know, notes across the top. And we have our jukeboxes and some other options along, along the left side here. I'll try to be very vocal on what we're seeing here for anybody that's with us on the audio side. Uh, so a, a first tip is going to be go to the right upper right corner here where your uh, logo from your Twitter and your Twitter name is. And, and click on that, you'll get a drop down menu. And make sure you go to thank you tweets. This is the big thing I want you guys to do uh, or should consider. It is kind of cool because this is, gives you a tweet every once in a while and says, hey, my top interactors were so-and-so. But here's the deal. Uh, now, since they've gone to the pay uh, uh, side of things, uh, if you don't pay for, for their thing, it's actually going to have a little ad in it from Tweet Jukebox. Even before that, I felt that this was a little too automated. I went, didn't want it to be that obvious that this is some kind of mechanism instead of me tweeting or something else. So I actually just go ahead and turn off uh, don't send any. And, uh, and, and, and then just leave that for, for the time being. Go ahead and save that. And then we don't have those happening anymore. Now, also notice the big thing is the tweet jukeboxes, right? And that's what we're going to touch on. And I'm not going to touch on today. You can do scheduled tweets. So this is like a Hootsuite or tweet deck where you can schedule things for certain times of the day. Uh, recent mentions, you can go in here and see actually who's interacting with you. But really, that's something that's in Twitter to begin with. But you do get a little bit of stats you can play with here as well and can give you a little bit of uh, re out of your reactions. And there's not much interaction on this because of the kind of account that it is. And even there, oh, they've added a visual schedule now uh, that again, kind of mimicking what you get out of a tweet deck, or I'm sorry, a Hootsuite actually. Um, and also if you upgrade, you can uh, have the ability to switch account. I currently just sign out and sign in with the Twitter account that I want to. It's an extra step I know, but uh, you know, it's, it's manageable and I've been doing it up to now before they had these, these options. Now, the upgrade you're going to see, most of you, I think, are going to lay into the free plan here where you get two jukeboxes, 300 tweets uh, amongst those. So that's how many tweets are in there that they can randomize from their 
You can schedule five whole tweets. Uh, you can have one Twitter account. Let's uh, you know you can't switch, and then fifty thank you tweets, and 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 then that's it. And then it goes from there. And, and they have good deals. If you have a lot of accounts and you have some massive kind of marketing that you want to randomize, uh, I don't think these are too bad. But really compare those versus what you get and what you need out of other things like Hootsuite. So let's go back here. So basically we get in here, you go to my jukeboxes. When you start, it's probably going to give you, they're probably going to still do this. I haven't done a new account in a while, but there will be a quote jukebox already in here. If it fits for you, I'd go ahead and use it. I actually have a couple of clients with like mental health and depression and, and mindfulness that the quotes are a really nice thing to kind of put out there. And it's, nice, it's something different. And well, let's go to that a little bit. Actually, there's a jukebox library you can go into and you can get, a lot of times quote tweets, but there's some other stuff in here too, you know, where you can just add, hey, here's 500 quotes. Let's throw those in there. Or here's uh, RIP Yogi Berra stuff in here, you know, and, and, and other people have set up these jukeboxes of, of some very, um, some very, uh, you know, varied things that you can, you can check out and integrate into your, can your Twitter campaign. So let's go back home. And let's take a look at our tweet jukebox. Now, how are we going to set this guy up? You're going to go in here, and you see I have a couple. I had a, uh, a promotion going for the Lunch and Learns that we were recently doing. And I actually need to go in here because it's going to be off. We're going to go and turn that off. I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping while I'm here. So what's going on here? You have these options. Uh, so you have your jukebox name, and again, for the free account, you get two of them. So here I got like whatever the promotion was. And I run a second one that's the regular promotions. And what do I put in here? Uh, for my tweets, uh, for Sorgatron Media in particular, I'm putting in just stuff that we worked on. Episodes of basic Sorgonomics that are going to last. Actually, look, there's another tweet jukebox there listed. Uh, episodes of old unsung stuff. I really want to get, I want people to go to my Twitter account and see this is the stuff we're producing. And this kind of randomizes it. It's always putting stuff out there. It's resurfacing content, old videos that we've done, old talks that we've done, old interviews that we've done. If it's the Wrestling Mayhem show, if the Indie Mayhem show all the interviews we did like a year ago that still hold up and i want i think people will still listen to we'll stick in here and uh and, and it works out really well so let's go into the organization again uh and options like we're starting you have your jukebox name the type of jukeboxes let's look at this so you have regular which means it'll just keep going and keep going and 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 always put out tweets uh, you have once and done that's going to go through a list of your tweets Tweet out each one of them, and then it's done. You, you don't have to worry about them anymore. Uh, there's a certain kind of campaign that, that you're probably going to want to do that. Like, these need to go out. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're done with this campaign. Maybe it's a contest where you kind of schedule out, okay, let's, let's, let's make these different tweets one at a time, something different, uh, once every hour for this day, and that's it. And then you do have the option to uh, select a date range. So if there's a promotion, you need to run until like next Tuesday or this date to this date. Like if there's like a, 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 a sale going on. Uh, unfortunately, that's only available with the paid subscription now. But it was really cool when it was available for free before they had the paid things. And make sure your jukebox is on. Um, I have left things off by accident and wondered why my tweets weren't going on. You also have a big option here. It says do not repeat a tweet for at least... Um, X days, and you can put as many days as you want. Now, I, I in this case for regular promotion, I have 39 records, and I also have ones that have 130 records, and the records tweets basically lists lists of tweets. Now, for those, I, you know, I don't want a tweet to pop up all that often, and especially since I'm kind of uh, uh, at replying people, so they'll see when the tweet comes up. I'll make it like four or five days just so they're not kind of seeing that and getting annoyed because a lot of times they'll retweet that every time they see it and promote the thing that I'm trying to promote. And that even happens here. I have tweets in here with uh, Pittsburgh Steelers and uh, that we've done videos with. And every once in a while, I'll see a retweet from them. And that's awesome. And that helps expose them to what I'm doing. Their fans, obviously, they're going to have a lot more fans because they're Pittsburgh Steelers and I'm a guy that does video and social media, you know, uh, so I, I think that's really important. Now, don't make this too high. If you have like 10 records and you said this is five days, you're probably going to have a lot of empty time. So if you are if you have something where you're not worried about, it, you can set this at zero and then um, 
and then there's there'll be no limit. You might see the same tweet two or three times depending on uh, in one day, depending on how many you have in here. But that's fine. Make sure you save your changes, and then you can move on. Go to your schedule. Now, it's got each day of the week here. Make sure each day is on. If there's something that you just want these tweets to happen on a Tuesday for whatever reason, like for me, I have uh, shows on Tuesday nights. So I could set up a jukebox that says, hey, make sure to check us out tonight. And it runs uh, every half an hour from 8 a.m. till, say, 6 p.m. where we really get started with it. Uh, it's a really interesting mechanism here. So you see everything's going to be yellowed out on the left of your scheduler. So if you click on, let's say, Wednesday, Friday, it turns green. Now we can go into our hours and minutes, and we can actually change those. And I'll change just those ones that, that are greened out. I like to, this is kind of my own tip. I will not leave this at one hour, 30 minutes, etc. You notice I have like 214, 114, sometimes 37 minutes. Uh, I think that gives you a little more of a feel of randomization. Because, uh, you know, you got to think, a lot of people that are doing these automatic schedulers and everything, or they're scheduling their tweets, they're at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 3.30. I think if you look at your Twitter feed, you'll see a lot of promotional tweets, uh, tweets on those five, the 5s, 10s, and 30s, basically, right? Um, and if you put that kind of random number in there, it's going to start at midnight. One thing I can't get around, uh, because I have so many tweet jukeboxes to set up for multiple accounts... Uh, about midnight, I will see every one of those accounts tweet something out. And that's the only time I see that. From But from there, it's going to go an hour 14 later, you have a tweet. An hour 14 later, you have a tweet. Or let's say it's 37 minutes uh, that you set it at. So, okay, there's a tweet at midnight. Then there's a tweet at uh, 12, 12.47. Or I'm sorry, 37. And then, uh, 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 you know, 2.14. You know, whatever the case may be. I think my math's a little off there. But you get the idea. idea. It pops up in a seemingly random fashion to the outside person. And if you're mixing that with other things that you are um, mechanically scheduling uh, through a scheduler here in Tweet Jukebox or through a Hootsuite or through a Tweet Deck, and then you have a lot of stuff going on that won't stick out a bit more. So that's just a little tip for there, a little bit of strategy that I apply there. So when we go back to this, make sure you know you set your things uh, and again, I set things a lot of times, you know, for here, 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. for Sorgatron Media because I'm tr really trying to target people here in Pittsburgh. So I know that's the time zone. Let's keep the full day for that. But for my wrestling stuff, for instance, I do 24 7 because there are people all over the place that are going to buy those DVDs and digital downloads. And they do. And I do, I do see that happening. And then we go to our actual uh, record tweets. Uh, where we can put this stuff in here. Now, you do have an option to upload tweets. If you click on the Upload Tweets button, it's going to give you a little bit of instruction and some templates for CSVs and text. So if you have all your tweets kind of set up, you can do them in an Excel spreadsheet, import them in here, and then you don't have to do much more. But other than that, uh, you know, kind of as I go through here, I kind of prune things, or as I add something, I'll, I'll go ahead and add it to this list. So I'll go ahead and add a new tweet. You have the countdown, it assesses for everything, and you also have an option to add a photo. Um, I will note that I'm aware of maybe some higher end tools if you're a, you're a, you're a advertiser or something, they'll let you do this, but you can't really do this with video. We can't even, I don't think you can add video through twitter.com at this point. It's a mobile only situation, it's kind of new, it takes a while for that stuff to bake in. Uh, but when you do add pictures here through Tweet Jukebox, it will add as a Twit picture and and show up as you want it to, um, which I guess is less and less of a less and less of an issue these days. But if you go through here, you you fill in your tweet, type in some stuff. You can submit it. It'll just be part of the records, and it'll come up whenever the algorithm decides it's going to come up next. Or you can submit and tweet it now if you're like, hey, I want to get that first one out there. And if you look through here. Uh, you can actually see when stuff has been tweeting. Like we can see that this thing where we talked about the three modes of social media guidance was uh, all the way back on the 5th at 8 a.m. Okay, that's cool. Uh, or you can see like, man, this one hasn't been tweeted for a while. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. You know, this one here, quality content. And I really want to get that one out there. because, like, man, we haven't, we haven't flashed that out there for a while. Let's, let's go ahead and put it out there. Hit tweet it now. And you see that changes to just tweet it. And, uh, 
it, it's 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 pretty nice. Uh, and also look through here. I think I saw one. You'll see actually tweet was not posted when it attempted, and you'll get a little error. Status is a duplicate. This will happen sometimes. Um, this will especially happen sometimes if if for whatever happened with the algorithm, or maybe you 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 set it up like. You know, actually, it looks like we duplicated some in here, so I'm actually going to delete one. Uh, but Twitter is very uh, iffy about you spamming, right? And sometimes if it sees something a little too close, and I don't know if it's minutes, hours, wherever the case may be, that it thinks is a duplicate, it will not let it go through. I've had issues with this actually with my scheduling through Hootsuite as well. So be very wary of that. Um, so there's a quick overview, kind of a look at how you do tweet jukebox. Again, look up my other videos about Tweet Jukebox and kind of the philosophies and why you would be using this over at Sorgatron.com. Just go there to the search engine or on our YouTube page and just search Tweet Jukebox. You'll find uh, a few more talks about it, me discovering it, and again, kind of what I was learning as we were going. I hope this is helpful for you. If you have any further questions about using TweetJukebox.com, please hit me up at Sorgatron on the Twitters or hit the contact form over on SorgatronMedia.com or Sidekick Media Services. Dot com and over there actually we have the site is under construction but we got a little bit of a sizzle roll for you so you can see a little bit of everything that we're working with around here in the video realms uh so thank you so much for joining me and uh we'll see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com